The sto story about bike, uh, how it's en entered in my life, is uh, it began seriously. The serious story began uh, on when I was 18 years old. On uh, gra graduating day, I uh, received some uh, a present from my uh, aunt from the States. It was uh, $200 uh, to buy uh, the, the dress, the suit for this final evening. Uh, instead of buying a suit, I actually bought a bike and I borrowed a suit for my friends. So uh, that was the first bike actually that I, it was, I bought and uh, I started to be fall in love with the bike. And it became from that point uh, a part of me that it's not possible to exclude. Well, uh, my story with the bike is uh, quite simple. I got my first bike when I was six, year, uh, six uh, years old and I didn't stop cycling from then. I, I'm cycling all my all my life. So, uh, actually, I'm not from Banja Luka. I'm from the city uh, 50 kilometers from Banja Luka. But I um, I started uh, to study here, and I brought my bicycle here. You know, like Tiko said, I couldn't imagine my life without bicycle. You know, it's it's part of me, and uh, that's how I met Tiko, uh, because uh, I came to Banja Luka in 2001. And then uh, there wasn't so, uh, so many uh, young people uh, cycling. And we just, you know, started to say hello to each other, just because we, are, we were uh, riding a bike, you know. <laughs> and after that, we, we meet each other. Some days, uh, I imagine my family, you know, to take uh, uh, my kid in a trailer and go for a walk, I for the walk, for the ride <laughs> in the park or something. So, you know, the story, uh, one, one part of me and story about bike is uh, connected with uh, being in nature because it's the best way if you want to explore and discover uh, some place and some country with a bike because it's uh, zero uh, emission uh, pollution, almost zero noise. Uh, it's, yeah, totally environmental friendly and it goes in speed of human eye. That means that while you're cycling, you can see almost everything around you. You can stop wherever you want. You can swim in every river, beautiful river that you can uh, swim. So this is this is the, what you uh, how it helps you to connect more with the nature. Bicycle using a bicycle is a moving of speed of life, and that's that's for sure.
Banja Luka is a really nice city uh, surrounded by nature. We have uh, one of the most popular um, recreational zone, uh, which is called, which is actually hill, and it's named uh, Shehitlci or Banjbrda. In the last uh, couple of years, there is more and more cyclists and pedestrians uh, walking and cycling to the monument, which is on the top of this hill. Uh, also, in two last years, there was uh, several accidents uh, between pedestrians and uh, bikers, where bikers uh, injured uh, some pedestrians uh, on the way. And that's why, uh, actually, the municipality uh, made a decision to forbid uh, cycling uh, on this hill. Uh, from this point, uh, there was uh, many and many uh, uh, people in the city really, as we say, disappointed and angry about this decision, and uh, they started to complain also on a website on, on the city. And uh, there were, there were, we made actually one group uh, which is called Leave My Bike Alone. My name is Diana. We are also admins of this group. Uh, in very short time, for about three or four days, a uh, group uh, gathered about 2,000... 200. 2,200 2, 2, people. people, yes, who, was, uh, who were angry about the situation in, in this city. Not just because of the design, because the sign is just a small part of uh, what is happening in this city, you know. There is, uh, we, we are not equal in the traffic. Bi uh, bicycles are like, uh, I don't know, like some some kind of, of wild animals on the road, you know. So uh, this is our we are trying to fight against uh, this um, fashion, let's say like that. So uh, we came up uh, for this idea. Yeah, this is actually um, how do you say in English? It's um, you know when uh, some person die. Uh, this is uh, the way that we inform their relatives and neighbors that uh, he's actually dead. So this is a uh, bike and bicyclism is dead. So we are uh, actually calling uh, people to come in uh, uh, 21st of April uh, uh, to downhill to Shehitlsi. Uh, and uh, actually we will uh, organize a funeral. We can announce uh, how to move up there. Uh, to be everybody in line and uh, with this, uh, you know, eight, nine people being from the, from the beginning to the, to the end and everybody else behind. It's important that uh, when we reach this sign, we are putting this, uh, uh, coffin. The, the coffin, we will put uh, next to the sign mm -hmm. and uh, uh, on the side we will put the flowers. Like usually, it's on the coffin. So sign will be like a monument. It's it's the, the place where we're like uh, grave. it's grave. Yeah. It's grave. Yeah. Anyway, the what is the most important is that media is there. This is the the first tool that we will use. First thing. Will they be there? Yeah, we will. We will try to. He will contact some some people. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And uh, Vladimir from uh, ATV. Mm -hmm. And Bell Television for sure. Bell television for example. Newspapers can write about this, it's no problem. We will write report, we will, uh, we will write announce and that morning. And yeah, yeah. Sure, text. Yeah, yeah. So, what about dress code? <laughs> dress code? Yeah. Can we be in white? White t shirts? Or yellow? Or... We can be naked, huh? <laughs> she, she proposed uh, to be naked. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, then we can see. Like Adam. Na ovaj dan, u ovaj čas, opraštamo se od tebe. 
Srca su nam puna tuge, a taban je hladni, bez toplog dodira tvojih pedala. Bio si mlad i lijep kao slika. I sam znaš da su ratovi dolazili na naš prag češće, no što smo to htjeli, ali svaki novi mir bio je nova šansa za tebe i za nas. Vozili su se i stari i mladi. 65. je si bio pravi hit. Na 73 hiljade duša bilo je 40 hiljada bicikla, a samo 640 automobila. Nemoj djurom! Nemoj djurom! S novim ratom ovaj put Bratubilač bi im ponovo si pokazao značaj snagu. Nije bilo benzina, samim tim ni saobraćaja, a ti si opet gospodario ulicama Banjavučka. Očito da je tebi rat bio veći brat nego mir. Po završetku ovog rata, Tebe i tvoje bicikle počeli su polako potiskivati sa ulica. Standard je rastao, a sve više idiota bilo je za volanima. Vrhunac Licimurije bio je kad ste zabranili put. Gore! Skidaj, stop! Skidaj! Dole, dole! Zato, evo nas ovdje oko tvog sanduka, da ti kažemo da smo te voljeli i da sa tvojom smrću ne završava se naša borba za evropskiju i ekološkiju banovuku. Smrt fašizmu, sloboda, biciklizmu! function it <laughs> turns <laughs> okay ciao mario how are you good 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 yeah yeah i'm preparing yeah yeah i'm still working on a bike and uh, i hope in the next uh, one hour two hour will be finished mm -hmm. yeah tomorrow tomorrow in the morning we are departing and uh, well, I hope you will prepare enough wine for uh, when, when I arrive. Yeah, and food, of course, you know that I eat a lot. I will take care, don't worry. I'm a big boy and I, I know how to cycle, I hope, yeah. Okay. Have a nice night, have a nice day. See you. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Uh, Boris is actually part of Center for Environment and he's helping a lot about designing the pro materials related to the publications. Today, distance that we will pass is uh, 77 kilometers. Cruising speed is between 20 and 25 on a flat. We have a uh, 10 kilometers before the first sleeping place, one very nice lake. It's actually artificial, but it's nice for swimming and we will take a bath. I think we're already ready for it. My very good friend. He passed Germany, Holland, 
Moldova, Bosnia a few times, Croatia, uh, Romania, Italy, and now we're going again to to Bosnia together and uh, to Italy. And he's really satisfied. He actually traveled more than 70% uh, of people in Bosnia and Herzegovina, unfortunately. It's a situation like that. And we have truck behind us. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> My name is Boris Slavjanković. Zelenkovac. The story is um, first the water mill uh, uh, and in the 60s, uh, last century, he got it for, uh, for a present from his father. In 1986, he was building on it uh, things around, and he was uh, made it more bigger. And uh, after 1986, he moved here, and uh, since it was a really nice place, and there was a lot of his uh, friends who was li like that, they get uh, this kind of shape. There was, there was uh, painters coming here and uh, enjoying in the nature and doing the painters here. Mm -hmm. Uh, they they want to promote uh, the, the to raise uh, people awareness about uh, ecological issues. So it's kind of uh, important educational and a practical uh, place. They use this sustainable tourism form uh, actually to uh, build more things and to live from from it. Not just uh, this place, but uh, this Podrashnica field and uh, all around. Good things that uh, we together do it's this synergy between uh, the cyclists and travelers on the bike and uh, uh, Boro and this place because uh, on, on the way this is like uh, 60 70 kilometers from far away from Banja Luka and it's for example from my point of view it's uh, actually uh, the path usually what uh, cyclists are passing from Zagreb from uh, west to entering to, in Bosnia through Gradiška and going towards uh, south uh, to the coast. So this is like place uh, where they could sleep. And uh, I know that Boro 
and he's a member of Couch Couch Surfing. And uh, we would like to invite uh, all uh, uh, nice people who like nature and who like enjoy the nature uh, to come here and to spend some days here in this uh, area because it's it's really nice and uh, and uh, bicycle paths and. Uh, good for the health to, to stay here a few days. Cikic. I am from uh, Banja Luka. I am 33 years old and I love so much driving my bicycle. Uh, for me, this is the really life, freedom. I don't use car. Bicycle is so perfect. Uh, transportation and only fuel is this <laughs> okay uh, prije par sedmica premijer moje republike srpske je izjavio da su biciklisti uh, džilkoši sa poderanim hlačama uh, evo vozimo već 156. km iz Banja Luke idemo prema Livnu Ovaj, želio bi samo da kažem da treba mnogo volje imati veliko srce a, da bi se napravilo tako nešto i evo kao što vidite mi to ne radimo u poderanim hlačama i premijeru bi samo po, poželio da proba da vidi kako je to, da nije lako i da zaista ima nekih lijepih stvari u bitku. Hvala. I feel uh, more and more stronger and uh, full of power. 
first day was kind of difficult. Every start is, is difficult, really. And now when you're approaching to the coast, to, to, to Italy, you're more and more have will and... Uh, I mean, your body is adjusting to the need of using the energy. And then, because you're using the energy, then you're eating more. And then we, when you are eating more, then you should uh, take care of what you eat. Tomorrow morning, we are getting up at uh, 6 o'clock and depart six at 7. o'clock? Really? <laughs> yeah. Seven twenty in the morning, departing from the Livno. Seven hundred meters altitude, heading towards Omish and Split, where we have uh, one hundred thirty, one hundred twenty between one hundred twenty and one hundred thirty kilometers. Twenty degrees, beautiful for cycling. Today we are gonna pass the border between Bosnia and Croatia. Past the border with our brothers in arms. Uh, heading towards Arjano Pass, the bo Ar Arjano border between Bosnia and Croatia, we are passing Bushko Lake, which is uh, one of the biggest lakes in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's an artificial lake, actually, it's not natural. As you can see by the vegetation that it's under the water, it, look it looks like a sea. And then every time when I was traveling, when I was a kid, you know, I was yelling to my parents, Hey, mother, father, there is a sea, we came. No, there is 150 kilometers more. And then waiting for the sea, waiting for the Croatia coast. In that period, it was Yugoslavian coast, so it was just coast. <laughs> we pass a border without any major problems. Uh, Usual, usually some few questions and uh, that's it, and our answers. And they let us go without checking our stuff. Uh, now we have the toughest part of uh, Croatia, because we have to climb some part, and uh, then we have downhill, and then again in uh, Canyon of Cetina, again climbing. Now the temperature is uh, over 25, so it will be much hotter than uh, it's now. So we have to go. Uh, Excusez-moi. I'm going tonight. We we going uh, we depart at uh, eight and thirty, and we are we will be in Italy at seven o'clock, and then we will cycle this part of Conero and then uh, towards uh, Vasto. So it will be it will be good, tough but good. Okay then, be careful. 
and uh, nice have a nice trip. <laughs> it was good to cycle. Yeah, yeah, also <laughs> to me. It's my pleasure. Ciao. We had a, a torn from the plant and now we have to change it as soon as possible because the sun doesn't wait. The rest of the air out. We don't need to check for possible another holes. We put first out tire where is the ventil. Kirip. Here we, we can see the old railway and uh, it's uh, one of the things that could be used for uh, making the cycle routes and cycle paths which could be really popular because it's really close to the coast and uh, it's nice, it's could be, it should be used. I hope in uh, our, our own one quarter we will reach Vasto, actually final destination. Before that, uh, we will try to swim. Why we came here? Just to tape the, some kind of documentary? No. I also came to take a swim <laughs> and enjoy. When you cycle, you have uphills and downhills. When you go uphill, you sweat and you 
cycle hard, but if you want to read something precious and nice and beautiful, you have to be a bit sweating. And uh, in life you have also downhills. It's easy, but very soon you can fall and get hurt. Life is made by curves, turning points, ups and downs. And what is most important in all that traveling through life is to cycle, to turn your pedals, to push harder. Believe me, sooner or later you will reach the most beautiful thing of life. It's a meaning of life. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Tihomir Dakic. Uh, I'm coming from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Banja Luka. And uh, I'm a member of uh, Environmental Organization Center for Environment that works already 10 years on issues uh, related to the environmental protection and sustainable development. Uh, my job is most related to the promotion of sustainable transport and uh, um, promotion of the cycling as a mean of transportation, uh, cyclotourism, and so on. I came here. Uh, last year, uh, by bike on a workshop, uh, first workshop of Ora, I noticed that there is a nice bike path, uh, Vasto place and uh, Punta Derci, Punta Pena. So I uh, discovered a bit, I went uh, for cycling and uh, I, I saw that could be really nice uh, 30 kilometers uh, circle and it's uh, 31.4 kilometers. Uh, it comes from uh, Vasto uh, center. Uh, through uh, some nice uh, villages and uh, coming uh, here is uh, River Leba and here is uh, River Sinelo that uh, comes along the river and then an old part of the railway that passing next to the beach, next to, uh, next to the coast and uh, here is uh, Punta, Punta Pena, Punta Derci to back to the Tubasto. So I'm Fausto, I'm going from Belgium, I'm 29 and I'm come here in Vasto for the ORA uh, meeting, international meeting. Um, I meet uh, Tycho the first day of our workshop, it's a workshop about um, sustainable mobility and we have to promote and to put in place a cycle path. ORA is a process of uh, education, communication and awareness on the topics of sustainable development in which uh, several European NGOs are engaged since the last two years. ORA is an acronym of Observe, Rethink, Act and it wants to represent both a methodology of work and also a lifestyle. In, uh, in the ORA process we are using several tools multimedia production, uh, educational activities, uh, settlement of eco-centers uh, and international meetings among activists, youth leaders and members of uh, European NGOs. Uh, in the 2010 process uh, we planned and we are realizing uh, three different uh, moments of encounter among young people in Banja Luka, Republika Serbska, Bosnia and Herzegovina, in Liège, Belgium and here in Vasto in Italy. In this meeting in Italy we are hosting around 50 young people coming from 12 different uh, European countries and together with them we are realizing four workshops uh, on uh, multimedia, on graphic arts, uh, on education and together with Tico uh, on uh, sustainable mobility. First of all we do the examination of the crossroads that we will uh, we have to pass and uh, to put the signs. You can see here uh, of course, different uh, surface that uh, we, we should explain in a document, like uh, asphalt, tractor path, or uh, just a path through the, uh, through the field. 
That's the reason why sometimes uh, three times uh, we should pass the route. First time to explore, second time to you know, make uh, fo uh, fo photos, and a third time when we're sure about the route, when we remember it, then we pass it with the GPS, and this is exact time. W one of the final product is actually a GPX track log, GP uh, General Positioning Exchange uh, file that uh, is really useful. Uh, beside signs that uh, in the future will be uh, put it on, on, on the road. Of course, the idea of the workshop since the beginning was to uh, cooperate and work together with Tico um, because of his experience uh, in Banja Luka and uh, in project about uh, sustainable mobility. Uh, in order to create uh, and realize a bike circuit in the territory of Vasto, uh, connecting the old part of the city, that is uh, up to the hill, uh, till the nature reserve of Punta Derci on the seaside, uh, through Leba River. And uh, together with the local group of cyclists and this international crew of young people coming from all around Europe, we are working on field, uh, first of all, to uh, exchange experience and knowledge on how to create a bike path. Uh, and at the same time, uh, we are working on field to map, settle and open this new bike circuit in the territory of Vasto called CCCP, Corto Circuito Ciclo Pedonale. Quando ho saputo che Tico, questo ragazzo bosniaco, è venuto qui l'anno scorso con la bici dalla Bosnia, sinceramente questa cosa mi ha fatto pensare molto. E quando lui mi ha parlato di questo progetto ho voluto crederci e soprattutto avere la possibilità di collaborare con lui. Abbiamo creato un anello all'interno della cittadina di Vasto di, ripeto, quasi 35 km e siamo veramente molto soddisfatti. C'è stato molto lavoro dietro, tanta preparazione, il vastese o comunque il cittadino, il turista, ha la possibilità veramente di iniziare a pensare diversamente, eh, limitando l'uso dei mezzi e eh, usufruendo di queste piste ciclabili che abbiamo creato. Nella nostra zona diciamo che siamo abbastanza fortunati perché oltre ad avere un lungo percorso ferroviario dismesso, eh, abbiamo questo tracciato qui dismesso e c'è in atto un progetto della regione che prevede proprio l'utilizzo di, di questi tracciati ferroviari dismessi per, per creare una lunga pista ciclabile. Il progetto è abbastanza grande e sicuramente sarebbe la realizzazione di una delle piste ciclabili più lunghe d'Europa. C'è tantissima gente che ha bisogno, che sente la necessità di avere una mobilità diversa, più pulita, più tranquilla, meno stressante se vogliamo anche. This afternoon at uh, 6 o'clock uh, p.m. we are going to, we invited actually people from Vasto to join us and to cycle together uh, along this route of uh, 32 kilometers. Uh, the weather is nice, the wind I hope it will be in, a, in the back, <laughs> not in the face and uh, I hope that uh, everything fin uh, will finish uh, okay.
bit tired for me because I'm not used to, but it's wonderful. Yeah, it's healthy and you see everything, you feel the wine and everything. It's really nice. I'm very happy. Um, no rain, sunshine. So um, everybody is happy, no? It's stato veramente un piacere percorrere senti i nostri sentieri con la gente di gente nuova di alta Europa. Vado, vado a prendere il treno perché ci vuole un po' di tempo, c'è il matrimonio di, di mio amico che devo venire, devo arrivare domani e quindi arrivo proprio alla, al matrimonio che comincia veramente mi sembra alle 6, io arrivo alle, alle 6. Eh, chi sa? Un viaggio! <laughs> sì, grazie! What time it is? The only train that goes directly from Vasto San Salvo to Ancona Centrale is uh, this one and, and the only one that uh, brings a bike with it. So there is a, a part where you can put bikes and it's regionale. That means that uh, it stops on each, uh, each uh, city, each place, small place, and it takes uh, a quarter to five, I will arrive in Ancona. And this is the only uh, actually uh, train in one day that uh, can bring bikes, which is definitely not enough if, uh, if somebody wants to go by bike.
Circles and honey 